There you are. All righty. Okay. So I sent you, it's, I don't know, give it, give me something. What do you want to? <laughs> that you're the stimulator here. You're well, the one no, I, I, I ran a whole gambit of stuff by you. If, if there's no questions there, I wrote some notes to you. Maybe that's helpful. You want me to try that? Yeah, start with that and we'll. I'm, I'm good with, on my own with notes and stuff, you know, and okay. The basic premise that I wrote here is that Facebook has a certain gravitational pull in the evolution of human consciousness. Basically, this means that what we have on our hands. You just went mute. Your thing's mute. Ch check your, you just, there you go. You muted yourself about a couple sentences ago. Basically, we met on Facebook. It's, it's got a gravitational pull in this evolution of human consciousness where we, um, we, we don't like the, the medium, we don't like the corporate thing, but we make that compromise because it's got this gravitational pull in terms of sharing knowledge and moving things forward. Well, it's where everyone is. It's wh Exactly. So my motive is to create a, another place where everyone is. Right. So if that's clear maybe i've repeated that over and over but that's what ever i'm doing is to get there okay that's that's just my transparent motivation intention goal etc cetera, etc cetera. so so does that mean that's an infotech platform where the gravitation it's, is yeah uh, it's a facebook that's not corporate run that's a public utility that's People go there because it's always now there, and the the clock is ticking, sec like as a backseat driver, not as the driver. Facebook is in Facebook, the clock it's run by corporate time, so the the structure itself is based in whatever those corporate considerations are, right? And well, we don't trust that there are compromises and all. Where's the problem with the platform? It's in the corporate Wall Street. It's in the, it's in the, the structure itself. Yeah. So let's keep it simple. So we'd like, we'd like to have a platform, and there are other people like us, that that's not the, the business model. Right. Well, th those things exist, but we're... The question is like, how do you get the right people, the right place together who have the same mindset, like other than just social media? To me, the idea of the shared knowledge community is it's an actual platform to do commerce together, to create together, to, to do something bigger together than just hang out and talk about whatever. Right. Well, that's what you just said it in fewer words, what I'm trying to say. Well, but there's a big difference between uh, just a normal infotech platform without structures or designs around what type of groups are in there. Like, I guess what I have is a language structure to do that. And I've been waiting for the, the software to catch up. And then to me, it seems you have the portal kind of idea for the jump yeah. into that. Yeah, exactly. There you go. And the portal idea is just a strategy to tell the story to get the numbers of people in that we need. The gravitational pull we got to get the attention. It's a public, it's like an ad campaign. Right. But, but it's also, it's, it's having people understand and be ready to enter what they're entering. It's like Lucille right now is putting on a program and it's a training program. It takes a lot of time. Exactly. It takes a lot of energy. It, well, and well they exactly. Have, and they're, they're going from 10,000 down to a hundred. And those yeah. hundred have agreed to the rules and stipulations of what the program is. Exactly. So, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And your content is, um, and the protocol, we, we need to create a kind of rite of passage, which is what you're speaking of. And I like the idea of you creating this character of us leveraging your captain sweep into 
uh, a protocol, rite of passage. In other words, it's years from now, you don't have to still be doing it, but you establish the role that other people can take up. Are you good? You just, oh, yeah. okay. Can you see? I just thought we'd jump into this because I'm seeing something. Let me just, let me take you through something. Yeah, yeah. Let me see if it works. So let's say we ask the question of how do we build portal? Yeah. What to say? Now, we've had some glitching in the last couple of days where this is really slow where it doesn't happen. So we might have to do it a couple of times. There's something uh, wrong on the back end. He just, I wanted to, to have it so you can press on the card and you go to a place on the website, on the New Paradigm Toolkit website. And I think, you see, that could be, and maybe, shoot. Maybe I'll take you to another place. Just wait. Okay, yeah, that's good. Thing, it's that the yin yang equals 365.25 days, that that's a, a foundation that we can build a paradigm that includes nonlinear time and makes sense out of it. Like it expands the definition of real time. So the cognitive thing about what time is gets blown up and we got a bigger space and it's always now because we've got this proof that that's how, that's what nature is and the indigenous ways for thousands of years were all about this and we're just like, because we have this digital, um, what do you call it, archeological search we've been on, we've turned up some information and one of them is that there's a bigger framework to time than we've been taught in school. And that's a super radical revolutionary thing that's simple enough to understand. It's not Einstein shit. There's a map. You can go put the eight foot pole in your backyard and do it yourself if you want. This is something that to me gives us the launching pad. That one piece of knowledge, the library of lost and found knowledge, starting with this one piece of knowledge. So, because it's based in empirical evidence that they can't fuck with. So, in terms of a, uh, essentially, it looks like we're creating a pitch creating a presentation yeah. to pitch to a publisher yeah. who participated in this. Yeah. And, and still and, and a company that watch company, Steal Back Time, that I talk about sometimes. Uh-huh. Steal back time. They got the same mindset about time. They don't know the piece about the yin yang that I just shared with you, but they they'll come on board and make their the compass watch. But I've, I've been just, I've been, what I've been wanting to do with you and your crew is create a, a, an agency, an idea, an ad agency, but like. But I don't think that, that crew is not the ad agency. The, the, the people okay. that came together sort of came together because they want to bring my work into the world. Yeah. Uh, and they're all in very different places and times in their life. Okay. So what I'm doing yeah. is just figuring out, okay, how does my work connect to them to help them do what they're doing? And I got you. Okay. And that's the basis for the tools, okay. right? It, it, it's like, and then only so many people are actually going to learn the tools, be the tools, be facilitators. You're either facilitating, learning the tools to facilitate, or you're using the tools to do what you want to do. And that's, that's always a sort of a bit of a, okay. People got to figure so, that out. So my history is basically as a curator, artist curator. So I approach Facebook and say, I'm going to go into this world and find the water seeks its own level. I'm going to find the interesting artists, the interesting thinkers, and I'm going to create a kind of a, a group art, you know, a, some kind of a 
a zeitgeist. I want to create uh, an, an art movement that uh, be part of the art movement that's coming out of this group of, of, uh, of thinkers. That's what I keep going back to this Facebook having this gravitational pull on us. Um, and that this group of kindred spirits represents all time zones. And this is where we begin to repurpose or reappropriate the time zones and linear time. And, and we make this game board out of the world. It's just like, because we've got this game board to do that with, we, we've got this map to do that with. And we get, we, we just attract people to this board and they, when they enter, there's a kind of, um, we, we need to talk about, I've got these, you know, there's a lot to talk about, okay? I don't wanna go into too many different places, but there's pieces to this thing that, that, that bring it all together And you're just at the gate, like you're the, okay, so the agency then is you and I and question mark. Yeah. And that we have, we have the New World Library and we have the Steelback Time Company and we want to approach them both and get them on board to partner with us to represent nature and in, in the media and in, in that whole thing. And that seems to be, and we got to see who we need to help us do that. And then we own that together, that agency, whatever we make with it, we own equally, we split it equally. It's a, it's that kind of a thing. And, and then we, we're promoting our own product here, but we, we got to be an entity, you know? Right. Um, otherwise we're just like, uh, free radicals or something, whatever the word is. We're like, just like how we are nowhere in space, <laughs> you know, we're just like in these separate orbits. We've got to like become as independent contractors, keep our independence, but we come together to do this project. Well, I you bring I, your company. Yeah. I, I think that you know, the, you're still thinking a little bit old paradigm. And, and to me, the, the new paradigm organization, the share knowledge community is like 144 people with a marketing team. I think the agency you're talking about is that marketing team. Okay. And so the, you know, all of us independent artists and contractors or uh, visionaries or inventors, we are lacking infrastructure and we're lacking marketing. And those are like two of the teams in the share knowledge community. And so to me, if, if we can agree upon, if we're looking at building the shared knowledge community, because we're both originators and we need it. We, we need the help of these other teams. We can't do it ourselves. We've got too much coming out. But to just create like an ad agency where me and you are like, because I don't think essentially me and you want to create an ad agency and be the boss of agency and run an ad agency. We just need what the ad agency can do. And yes. Out yes. There, right. Yes. So, so that that doesn't make sense to me in terms of, <laughs> how to do this um we need to i just need to yeah you tell oh, us how to get it. there well no just think about this like the we need to build like my goal for this year is to build one share knowledge community that's one and i thought luciel would do it but i don't think they're going to do it they're doing another thing but it's it's not the same you have to have the design plan to build this thing right and so it has 144 people and you're proposing a game you know, with, with 144 turns and the idea that, ha, huh, each turn is a person coming into the shared knowledge community. There's, there's these different, there's 12 by 12 spots. And if I'm the first, because let's say I've got the design for the yes. shared knowledge community, yes. I'm the wizard yes. gatekeeper saying, this is where we're yes. going. And you're yes. the one going, yeah, you know, you need yes. other people like the director say, yeah, follow this guy, right? He, he's, yes. he's, he's, he's onto something. And so then me and you go, okay, well, now we got two because it's, it's like the zero one one in the Fibonacci number series because that oh. builds to 144, right? He goes, me and you could be zero one one, and then there's two, and then there's three, and there's five, eight, 13, 21, 34, 89. 
144. Right. And then it goes exponential. Like at the end, there's a whole bunch coming in, but at the beginning, it's just one at a time, you know, one, one, then two. And then yeah. it's like, we got to figure out, okay, well, who are the next two? And maybe each of us choose one, or maybe, maybe just the person you chose me and the, at zero point, and then I choose somebody, and then they choose the, like the, the next person maybe chooses the next people to come in, maybe. Um, I always thought the people that I knew, like I probably have 20 or 30 people that I know, these guys need to get in the, into this. They're already ready. They want to build it. And so in that case, those people on the team are part of that, but not necessarily the agency. They're just part of this bigger thing that's being built. So the agency really is the, for lack of better words, the caretaker of this project, of this library. It, it, the, it's like the steering committee of the library. Well, I, I wouldn't even say that. I mean, because no. there's a stewardship team that is more of a governing team. The marketing team are just people who are good at marketing. Okay. Right? And marketers aren't leaders. They just want to get things done. And, and the marketing team is in the now. Like in the whole, like there's a time right. period for all the different teams, like researchers in lifetime, originators. We're looking at stuff over a period of a lifetime. But so you get this. You get all, you you understand a way to go forward. We need yeah. to cast it and be. Well, I, I, I'm good with that, man. I, I don't want to, I'll lead this where I got to, where I, where I'm needed. But if you can nuance the sketch that I'm putting out there, that's what I'm looking for. Right. I, 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 this is not a power grab on me. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm with you, you know, <laughs> I, I got this free space platform that the word is good. The concept of the space in between that we're pioneering that it, it all works, I think for a dogma free, well, well any, place that people peep that get people's curiosity right well but there, there's like a you see by going back and forth like just by ourselves we, we can get sort of lost and i think by going back and forth both of us need that stimulation to figure things out and to sort of realize wow you know I, i'm not thinking about this or this is what needs to come in and if if we're both strong in that it helps one another, right? But then as you bring other people in, you know, at some point, like I have to teach people. There's a lot of teaching of what this is in, in order to bring people on board. And, you know, the, the, the difference between what you're thinking, and what I'm thinking is going to create that creative tension that is necessary in order to sort of go, well, you know, because you want something kind of specific and I want something specific and we're working together but you're, you know, I want to help you craft, let's say, the library and, sh and see, okay, all these, like, maybe they don't have to come into the shared knowledge community, but maybe they do. Like, part of this is you come in here and you're going to, you know, we're trying to build a shared knowledge community. You're one of the people. This is the way we're doing it. And so that's part of the, the process. So at least me looking at all my people go, you know, I may know 200 people, but only 20 really want to build a shared knowledge community. And, and you're the guy going... This is what we're doing. It's not just me, right? So that's yeah, that's a big difference. But there, if you look at this as a library, which frames both of us, and you're a book, and I'm a book, and we have this idea of a game that people can come into and read one chapter of your book in order to move to the next, to, in order to get to the next move, they don't necessarily have to go further although some will like it's not a forced thing where once people enter they become introduced to your community but it's like a, a sample they sample it like they don't have to complete you know like well, well and that that to me is let's say the difference between going okay well no, like we're not going to have everyone come into the shared knowledge community. They can if they come through MySpace, and then they can go into that. But it's just a library, and it's like I mean, there, there's a real difference between public and private. There's a there's a big difference between membership access and ally access, 
You know, there's yeah. people, the people who have put the time and effort in to do something and be something versus window shoppers. And you have to have those levels of distinction. And that's what well, I think the info matrix is in a big way. It's got a lot of boundaries around what this is and what this isn't. And so if you if you have, let's say, individuals, teams and communities, you have public and private in there. You have inside and outside in there. And this is like right. huge in terms of distinguishing what conversations go where, what are we talking about and who gets to see it, which is huge. Like looking at social media, look at the difference between Facebook and something that is totally our, you know, inside InfoTech platform to communicate upon, right? I guess, yes, I'm with all that. I guess I, what I was trying to say is that the, the moves on this board introduce your body of work in a sense as a book, since we're using the library as the, it's more than a metaphor, but do they have to read the whole book or do they just get introduced to the table of contents and the first chapter and they have an option to then re go further or they have or they just respond to that first chapter leave their mark in the way that opens them up to the next chapter i i get that i think it depends upon if we use my structures or some of my structures to structure the 24 moves because then they're participating one way or the other, whether they read the book or not. Oh, well, that's cool. Right. That's cool. I get that. That's deeper than I, I, than I, I get that you know what you're talking about. I don't get that, but I get that you get it. <laughs> well, it's just, you know, there's a, what I've learned, I guess, with structuring information flow and structuring let's say parts of the game that you can have an underlying conceptual layer, like the five elements or whatever, yeah. it is, right. That can, that, that gives the, yeah. the meaning to the little content box that's coming up as the move. And so you can either have a very detailed, abstract foundational subsystem that you're basing your decisions upon about who comes in, when and where, yeah. Or, it's, or it's random and it means nothing and, and people just, you know, the next person in is your best friend or the next person in, you know, uh, qualified through some other methodology. But to okay. me, like design, like design is, uh, is huge around, you know, putting pieces together. Well, do you want to lay that track down onto this board? that underlining what you're that what you're talking about do you want to do you do you see that that adds value to the game well i mean i started to do that when i when i i came up with a version of the board did i show you the latest piece that was Pardon? Let me just show you something. Here. Oh. Did I show you the, the, the latest one? No, you added. You added. Like I was distinguishing oh. one, two, and three as, pri as these numbers that keep on, you know, there's only nine numbers, right? And yeah. so you can break all the 144 numbers down to nine, and each one of these boxes is like... This is one. All these are the ones. So there's 16 ones, and then there's 16 twos, and then there's 16 threes. And it was, you know, it's, it's kind of like, huh, you know, huh. I mean, it, like if, if you're looking at this, and, and then there's three layers of, you know, 48, 96, and 144, like 144 divides into three. <laughs> and I kind of, you know, okay, so that inner temple, outer temple in between. And then I started color coding the numbers. And so that's why I was thinking like, if I was the start and I was a one, I would have impact on all the other ones. It would be like a fractal kind of thing, right? So whoever's ah. a two is more of a two, a duality type person. Um, so you're talking about sequencing the board here through that. Yeah. 
Okay, that's deep. That needs to happen. I get that. I get you're onto something there. Okay. That adds dimension to the it adds a lot of depth that adds substance to the, the whole thing. I just kind of bringing a frame to you that's empty and, and talking about a direction. Does it start in the middle and move out or on the out and move in? You know, what's the motivation of play, the object of play for people, but you're now you're taking it to me to the deep end of the pool with that, with that set of numbers. I, I get that. So that's, yeah, you got to lay that in because that needs to be, that that's going to define the game in, well, in a way that it needs to the game is demanding that kind of uh, advancement and then like there's another there's also the ken wilbur thing of the individual and the group the inner and the outer and so if you divide it into those four quadrants it's kind of like at the beginning i was thinking is the inner individual you start you're at the inner world and then you move out and you go into the outer individual, and then you go into the outer group, and then into the inner group, and then conceptual design to layer what's underneath the steps that are happening. And That's so cool. If, if you do that ahead of time, when you bring someone in, that's part of the learning, right? They're, they're, um, they're coming into a certain framing of that move of where it is and, and each of these might be necessary to let's say build a shared knowledge community so instead of 144 moves each move is actually a piece of this larger structure that is actually a new paradigm economic yes. structure right that's that's again yes. looking at like the first move massively transforms the board it goes from this blank yes. sheet to no there, there's a catalytic wizardry thing that just just changed the game board now the next move could do that too on top of that in a different way like if someone like john Keldon came in who's got you know massive like anyone who's got a massive life work is going to massively change whatever system they come into but if if, if you're coming in from the zero space and then i'm coming in from the one space and going boom and then it's like here where each person who's going to make a move has to kind of make a decision because I'm going, oh, well, actually, it's my first move, the time translator, because that's the connection to frame everything else. But then the software choose a remedy is much simpler and I think has much more effect on people where here's something which anyone can ask a question and get an answer to a question to. That's massive, right? Like most people have these questions. Like, yeah, yeah, so yeah. Time translator, no one knows what I'm talking about, but everyone has questions they want to answer. Yeah. Right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I get it. So this is this is the step. Now this is like where the rubber meets the road in terms of the next step the game takes in its maturity, in its maturation process. Is that you you anchor it with this with these numbers and the zero to the one, and then we go to Keldon and Martin and the 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 people with what we have and get them on board cast them to as part of the ensemble to continue what it is you and i started uh-huh and and we just keep a kind of a journal between us somehow that is easy to read you know that people can follow our trail of words and well if you look at i just created over 300 blogs on my website, the new paradigm toolkit. So it it has a, a huge ability to, I was thinking we'd find one person for each page. So it's the beginning of creating like their journal or blog would be this blog of the actual, they're all cards in the, in the card set, but they're all sort of like, again, pieces of the puzzle. These are huge pieces like boundary or decision or um, limits like these words are huge words for humans to figure things out so you know it's kind of like the like you're you're going to need a structure for the library and i think that's you know if you use the inflow matrix i mean that's what you know if we start with the library first 
then that's going to hold all the knowledge, which which makes sense, right? I mean, that's we, there needs to be that, which is might be more of a wiki. And uh, I know someone who was thinking yeah. about doing that, but it's like, how do you how do you organize a new paradigm knowledge? Right. Well, I think you've got it here. It you you've got it in this in this uh, approach. You've got the answer to that question in this approach. You've just brought us right into focus. That's if we start with zero and go to one, and you can articulate that in a way that I'm not able to, it's like I've done the lap. I'm handing you the baton and you're running the next lap. Right. In a sense. And you're adding value with this whole lap that you're running. Then it's ready to hand off to Kelvin and it's ready to hand off to each person that we want in the light in this first wave of in this library's uh, collection of it's a way to structure a, a group on some a group show if, if you if I can continue to see it in those terms like a a, live, a museum show uh, you know this is what I found on Facebook basically. Well, I mean, of everyone that I've seen, I guess online, I mean, no one, Kel, you know, John is is I noticed was in a world of his own. I mean, he was, and I could see what he was doing, and I really wanted to integrate with him, but it didn't kind of seem possible. Yeah. But I could see that what he was doing was was like very advanced, very good, very. Uh, to, and yeah, using a lot of the words which I had used, so he was coming at it from a, a whole different manner. And I think, you know, it's 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 again the combination of our pieces that really get the whole the whole piece of the elephant in there. Yeah, but you you have a um, between you and me and Keldon, you have an ability to speak more to his work than. I do because you have so many shared, you see where, like I get that he belongs on the board. Right. But you get it in a deeper way. You know, I'm kind of a very surface player in a sense. Well, I mean, to me as a director, like if you're, I've never had someone, let's say, acting as a director with me. I, when I was younger, people always said you should be performing or you should be doing yes. this. I never really did it in, in any real way. And yes. then I've just been doing it on my own. Like, I mean, it's it's tough to direct yeah. and edit, right? And do everything on your own and never get much feedback, you know? Yeah. So, <laughs> well, I, I just go up there and do my thing. I don't see anything like it, but I but I, it doesn't like there's no interest. So it's 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 like, how do you maintain confidence without feedback of interest, you know? Exactly. <laughs> 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 Like well, talk to the it's perseverance, talk. man. It's some kind of perseverance that uh, it's hard to, you know, it's got to be uh, something that you picked up along the way or you always had it. Well, I mean, if, if you're striving for a vision and you know you have something good, but no one seems to share that same excitement. Uh, I mean, I'm lucky. It's not that no one. I have a few people who... Should, yeah, sure. just just enough to keep you going. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So he talks about Kairos, about uh, the Kairo. Uh, he was the first person I've been writing about. Uh, Ka, you know, K A I R O S, uh, as it relates to timing in Greek mythology. In opportune moments, some moments are more opportune than others. All moments are not created equal. Ah, right. Very true. And uh, Kairos is, covers that. Now, I, I, I've got a good paper. I had a professor of mythology write a one-page, uh, I'm going to send that to you, about this. And Keldon speaks about it also. And I think that's a really good place for us to approach him in terms of the game board, the library and the game board and why this moment and Kairos is timing and opportune moments that present themselves. So 
that um, that brings mythology and you know we're I think there's a lot that we don't need to explain to him, but that he's self-contained in his understanding of a lot of things. And I think his motives are right on and, and, and all. And if we just give him a place on the board and you can see how that works. How about this? How about, uh, cause I think we're, we're not ready to talk to it in a sense. We need to have something a little bit more put together. Exactly. And I think in the new paradigm website, that's where, what would you call this process that we're doing here? Like you're like the free space. What's the main titling for your thing? Free space library. Well, yeah, we're, we're pioneering free space in a sense. So free space is a space and no mistakes um, that we, um, the free space library, it takes on the form of a library because it, we can maintain a dogma free zone in a library and that's what free space is, right? Okay, so wh what I'm gonna do is I'm going to set that space up in the new paradigm toolkit website as, okay. a, pro as a process. And that's basically within all the people that are operating with you know, the, the idea from my point of view is to help you get ahead with your project, kind of like what you want to do with me, right? So yes, I can put you on the website, start to, and then there we can articulate. Maybe I can start it as a blog. And then me and you can use that to go back and forth with what we're doing because we need to be more public with this and then we can load cool. up this this in there. And then, it's yeah, a, yeah. and then it's a living story. And then when yeah. we, and, and we can add in there whatever pieces we need. And then at some point that can jump into its own website. Because it's going to need a, a website to house it until the larger things made, right? So I've got FS, I've got FS 4D, I've got a in 4D. Um, I've got, well, anyway, yeah, we can, yeah. I, I like what you just said. Anyway, that's a good idea. And. Oh, and I got to go. I, I got a one o'clock. Okay, man. This uh, is awesome. I'll, I'll wait to hear from you. Okay. Thank okay, you so much, man. Brother. And, uh, you know, what's good for me is, I mean, like, again, from a director for feedback in terms of, because you're giving certain things feedback, but give me feedback in terms of, uh, um, yeah, just from a director's point well, of view, right? Well, you got a great look. Your your style is, you know, it's got a lot to do with style. Your your presentation is, and I don't have to talk about fundamentals, but you because you don't need direction there. You 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 got that inner process. You've got a procedure going on that works. It's just that you're way ahead of your time, but you're not. Like Bucky Fuller was way ahead of his time. He didn't even get to live long enough to see it happen. Right. You're just ahead of your time enough to, for it to be frustrating, but not, you're going to live long enough to see your shit happen. Well, I hope so. I, I, yeah. I, <laughs> you are. I look, I'm 10 years older than you, and I believe I'm going to see my shit happen. So okay. it's going to happen well, for you too. Well, but, I, I but think just that, terms, yeah. No, go ahead. Sorry. No, but in terms of, I can acknowledge you, I get you as a character and how you're able to go further because you've got a character to play in to. It's like a mask in the theater. You've got a, a front, you've got a, it's authentically you, but it allows your true self to come through. Right. It gives you, it gives you some armor to put yourself out there. You gotta go away out on a limb and Captain Sweep gives you that, I think, that what you need to do that. And I think people understand that. That's something that has to do with, there's a lot of folks out there like us who haven't taken it as far as we have and want to, and they're going to follow your example huh. just by you being who you are. You know what I mean? 
Well, I guess that's the hope with Planetary Guardians is for your superhero self is then you get to dress how you want anywhere. <laughs> exactly. Well, you got it all. So, you know, you don't need much direction from me other than, you know, a um, little here and a little there, but you really have it going on. So <laughs> let's leave it at that. <laughs> and, and you run with this fucker with, in terms of adding that next layer and and we'll get on to your blog and we'll make it very readable and, and get a, a, a gather a following. Okay. And we'll move it right into the game board <coughs> and right into your game and then we'll move it to Keldon and we'll move it to those others that I've got a list of. We'll talk about the casting. Okay. But this was great, I think. I mean, I hope you got as half as much as I got out of it because this is this was an awesome meeting. Well, well, I think the main thing is fi finding, coming to agreement on, on yeah. working together and allowing each other to do what we really want, but find something in between that works for us both. And that's the big yeah. thing, right? It's uh, well, Yeah, but you have to know how to use me and I'm valuable. Uh -huh. And how, how not to use me, right. you know? But I'm good with you with this one-on-one -on -one thing. <laughs> and I've got some, you know, but I, I'm, you got a lot of rain with me. Like we, you're not, I'm not delicate in terms okay. of, you know, go for it. Don't worry about it. Just, you're not stepping on my toes. I'm, I've been praying for a guy I could hand this to, to, and you could add your layer. I'm, I'm like a, I'm, sh I'm shallow on some level. I'm deep in some way, but I'm shallow in some way too. I need you to be the, um, a comprehensive, uh, specialist. Okay. in the design of this game okay you know and then they're all going to join up and it's going to work out real nice i gotta let you go bro and i'm let's talk whenever you want to again okay okay Thank great you. to see you greg awesome bro as usual